In this video, I'll be showing you how to take every other row out of your Denman brush. So, Denman brushes are really popular in the natural hair setting. Um, of course, I learned about it going natural and I've had it ever since I did the VC Big Chop. And um, lately, I was starting not to like it anymore. It just was kind of rough pulling on my hair which is it was just too rough too forceful on my hair so I was watching natural 85 on YouTube and she was she showed her Denman brush with every other row out and was saying how she took every other row out so I was like how did she do that like I went and found my brush, and if I didn't figure out how to do it, I was just going to cut every row out. That's really what I thought she did. But, without stalling any longer, I'm going to show you now how to actually do it. You don't have to cut anything. It's really, really, really easy. So, you're actually going to start by pressing the red part, or whatever color this part of your brush is, the base of your brush is where the bristles are. You're going to push it up. And it's actually just going to slide out of the handle. And then once you have it out, you can open up the base where the bristles come. And then all we're going to do is for every other row, so for this row, this row, and this row, we're going to just push it out. So as I'm pushing from the front, you see that it's coming out and I can actually just easily take this loose here I'm going to do the same thing for the middle row and the same thing for that last row now all we're going to do is going to close that back together there's a little groove that you want to make sure you have together here, and this is actually the top. So once you have those back together, you're going to take your base, and you're just going to let me show you, see the ridges. You're just going to slide these ridges inside of these grooves. And now, you have a dimming brush. I actually really fell back in love with my dimming brush because it just gave for a more gentle use um, because there was space in between that it didn't seem like my hair was getting tangled as easily or that I was tugging as hard on my hair now that it was every other row instead of all those rows. And I guess the really cool thing about it is now, you see how... Some of the bristles are kind of worn out. If it ever does break or, you know, get completely unuseful, I have three extra pieces I can substitute. Now, I will say that they are um, made by length. So, like, the middle piece has more, um, I don't know if you can see that. It's a little taller. It has more bristles for that middle piece than the side piece. But, I think the middle piece is the same. It's like these and the side pieces are the same as here. I'm not exactly sure. But in any event, you have extra pieces for your Demon Brush. And if you are like me and you were falling out of love, this will help you fall back in love with your Demon Brush. So, in case anybody's wondering, this is a five-day-old twist out, and um, I did use Natural 85's uh, Twist Out 101 uh, method for this, and so I can include a uh, link to her video, her instructional video, in the details below. And I will see you guys later. I don't know that I'll be doing a video for a twist out soon because I really want to go back to my wash and go next week. So 